Hello and welcome to What's in the News this month. Trailhead is the favorite platform for many trailblazers. I especially love Trailhead for many reasons. The top three reasons include one, it is a gamified, fun to learn platform. Two, I need not refer to too much of documentation to learn a concept. Each module in Trailhead is well thought and provides bite sized content, which is easy to understand. Three, it has a weekly release cadence. Its content is frequently updated. New badges are added regularly and the current badges are updated to be relevant with the current platform. If any of the badges are not relevant to the current platform, those badges are retired. So let's get started with what's in the news with the Trailhead updates. You can check the new content released every month in Trailhead. You can go to your Trailhead account and open the Trail Mixes page. Here, you can see My Trail Mixes and Discover Trail Mixes. Let's choose Discover Trail Mixes. Here, you can see new content for July 2021 release. You can see various modules and trails released this month. If you scroll down, wow, there you can see a new super batch, Health Cloud Specialist. Try it out. A new certification is launched for the solution Actex. In December 2020, Salesforce launched B2C Solution Actex certification. Now you can take the latest B2B Solution Actex certification. It is a unique opportunity for Solution Actex to level up and build expertise in designing B2B multi cloud solutions. Not only that, if you are looking for certification in designing user experience, Salesforce has launched a certification for the Salesforce User Experience Designer. Test driving a car will make you comfortable before purchasing the vehicle. How about taking a free interactive practice test before taking a certification exam? Yes, Salesforce admins can now take a free interactive practice test for the Salesforce Certified Admin exam. It allows experiencing the format and level of questions you might see on the admin set exam. Take this practice test at your convenience and know your strengths and weaknesses. You can then focus on areas needed for additional learning. You can also take a free certification camp. You can register and join a free half day webinar to help you prepare for your Salesforce certification. Are you new to the Salesforce platform and want to understand how to get started with the Salesforce development? Then you can check this new series on YouTube Salesforce Developers channel. Salesforce Quick Start series helps new developers to get started with the platform and also provides a high level overview of its capabilities. It is a five part series. In the first episode, you learn how to build the application without writing the code. The second episode covers how to customize the user experiences. You can learn how to build automations in the third episode. Fourth episode is an introduction to Apex and Lightning Web Components. The final episode covers the security model in Salesforce. Some people like to read the documentation. Some prefer watching videos to learn. Some people explore and write the code to learn. You can learn how to build LWR sites on Experience Cloud in any of these modes. Let's check how. As many of you might already know, build your own templates powered by LWR is one of the biggest evolutions of the Experience Cloud. This enables the developers to build highly customizable and highly performant web experiences. You can learn more about this by reading our documentation or you can watch our new series on Salesforce Developers Channel. This video series starts with introducing Experience Cloud LWR sites and covers various topics including custom layout, custom navigation, and footers for LWR sites. It also covers how to style LWR sites with custom CSS variables and using Salesforce CMS in LWR sites and much more. The exciting part is all of these videos are very short and to the point. If you want to explore the code, you can visit the sample gallery, scroll down a little bit, and find the brand new sample app AZ Insurance. This app showcases the patterns on how to implement the build your own template in Experience Cloud. We can use SOAP, 
REST or Bulk API for publishing the platform events. We can use Streaming API to subscribe to the Change Data Capture events, platform events, etc. Have you ever thought of having a unified single API to do all of these things? Then you should check this blog. The PubSub API pilot is launching in August 2021. It provides a new way to publish and subscribe to events. You can see from this table that all the functionality that we can accomplish using APIs like SOAP, REST, Bulk and Streaming API will now be consolidated into one comprehensive API called PubSub API. It is based on high performance and open source universal RPC framework called gRPC. gRPC boasts a host of improvements over REST and SOAP like better performance and bidirectional streaming and it is built on HTTP2. You can visit this blog to learn more. I have many more updates to share. Let's catch up with some more updates in the quick news. Trailer DX happened during night in some time zones. Suppose you are like me who could not hold the sleep during night and miss the Trailer DX in action live. Don't worry, you are covered. You can now watch Trailer DX sessions on demand. Today, we are glad to have our principal admin evangelist Julian Bruce with us to share her thoughts on Trailhead DX. Hey everybody, I'm Julian Bruce, principal admin evangelist at Salesforce, here to talk to you about some of my favorite things about Trailhead DX 2021. Well, first of all, as you can see, we've got Lego Astro here. Now, Lego Astro was built live during the Trailhead DX 2021 broadcast by Aaron Newman, our amazing expert Lego brick designer, who also built Lego Cody last year at Trailhead DX 2020. Would you please tell us about the two sessions that you like most from the admin channel? So there's also amazing content. So two sessions I wanna highlight for admins. First of all, security is one of the top things that all admins need to think about. There's an amazing security session featuring Laura Pelkey and customer Carrie Sheffley talking about the checklist that you can all use to make sure that you're implementing security in the best, easiest way in your org, as well as hearing Carrie's story about rolling out MFA at her organization. Then I really want you to look at our amazing return to work session featuring Sonia Flam, who's a customer at Cognizant, who used Tableau and work.com to build a return to work experience for her company. It's really amazing. It's also, she's joined by Leanne Rimel, who's another expert admin evangelist. You don't want to miss those two sessions. Hope you enjoy them. And I'll see you at TDX 2022. Thanks, Jillian. Now let's invite Mark Brega, Principal Evangelist from Architect Relations team to share his thoughts on two sessions from the Architects channel. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Braga representing Architects here at Salesforce. And the two sessions that you should check out on the Architect channel from TDX are the Architect Decision Guides and Introducing Salesforce Diagrams. On the Decision Guides, we announce a new data integration guide and Susanna does an awesome job of walking you through how to choose the right tool for that task. And then on Introducing Salesforce Diagrams, we cover all the resources that are available at architect.salesforce.com and have a very exciting announcement that includes Lucidchart. So check it out. Thank you, Mark. Now let's talk about a couple of sessions from the developer channel. One of the most significant evolution in the experience cloud is the ability to build your own templates. You may not want to miss this session. Meet the Salesforce Jamstack. Experience Cloud plus LWC. In this session, Akshata covered the Salesforce journey through Jamstack. It is also packed with amazing demos. You may also want to explore the future of the development across Salesforce through session build scalable experiences, functions, and CLI. In this session, Claire Bianche talked about CLI unification, combining multiple CLIs into one global CLI that can work across clouds. Product manager, Chris Marino, showed us how to use functions. That's all in Trailhead DX updates. Now it's time for our favorite community focus. A serial blogger and a regular YouTuber. His areas of interest are Flows, Apex, and Lightning. You may better know him by his blog site name or YouTube channel name, Salesforce Geeks. He is none other than Shivam Bharadwaj. Shubham Bharadwaj helps many Salesforce developers to level up with flows and epics. 
On this blog site, Salesforce Geek, you can find a lot of blogs related to flows. He also helps Salesforce aspirants prepare for the interviews through his mock interview videos. If you want to learn more about flows or Apex, visit his YouTube channel Salesforce Geek. You can also check the playlists on flows, mock interviews, lightning component projects and more. Now let's hear from Shubham on what his inspiration is. I always wanted to create content but was confused on which thing I need to create one. So back in the third year of my graduation, I came to know about Salesforce and that's where it all gets started. When I started, the main focus is to document my own Salesforce journey but somehow people end up liking my content that drags me to create audience specific content over Salesforce flows mock interviews and lot of development tutorials. The goal is to produce more Salesforce content that contains scenario based learning to help people to understand the concept and enhance their skill set to grow more. People's happiness is the reward of this initiative because when they write back that Shubham your content helps me and I got a job. That's one of the best feeling I ever get. Thank you Shubham. Keep creating more awesome content like this. Thank you for whatever you are doing to the community to achieve success. Now. It's time to wrap with a quick round of news items. A new interchange video series launched in which developer advocates will answer a question that has been asked in a public community and implements the solution. The community member who asked or responded to the question could also join the session and share their thoughts. You may also participate if you have a question asked in the public community by submitting this form. We'll share the link in the chat and trail mix. You can save time and improve your developer experience with Node.js script shipped in Salesforce DX projects. You can do formatting, linting, testing and also run pre-commit hooks. To know how, check this blog on developer.salesforce.com. Do you want a quick overview of the security best practices you need to follow when coding with Apex and LWC? Then check this blog on developer.salesforce.com which gives an overview. Salesforce Developer Relations run a global survey to hear from our developers and understand the trends in our ecosystem. The results from our January 2021 Global Developer Survey are now available on this developer blog. You can check the metrics like Salesforce Developer Demographics, why are developers building on Salesforce, and most importantly, how do Salesforce developers learn? That's all in today's news. 